Hey, it's your co-host Steve here. Welcome to Plain Donuts. This episode is very, very late, and it's all my fault. I'm so sorry. I will explain more in the middle of the show. Until then, enjoy the beginning, and after that, I hope you'll enjoy the rest as well. Okay, enjoy the show. Seriously. Oh, seriously? <laughs> he was perfectly in time, actually, and I uh, already ruined the silence anyway with all my creaking and clacking. Clack and clack. It's okay. Were you saying Finnish dimensions? Yeah. Why are we, like, as in Finland? No. Or fin- like Finnish is complete? No, as in, Completed as in dimensions. like, fatality dimensions. Ah, fatality. Finish him. <laughs> anyway, Otto, where'd you find my... Okay, so I apparently have a screwdriver up here. A bunch of people were at my house the other day, and there were some fights on, and their kids were here, and, like, one of them (laughs) apparently found a screwdriver somewhere, and so my friend just, like, grabbed the screwdriver out of his his daughter's hands, and I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't know I had a screwdriver (laughs) just laying around. So what you give kids when they come over is just random tools? Yeah. And you get a wrench, and you get a crowbar. One day I'm going to have kids and they're going to learn about knife safety real quick. Real quick. <laughs> Say, not going to have any kidding. fingers. Oh, that's no, a joke. Welcome to our podcast. Welcome to the Plain Donuts which is podcast. Named Plain Donuts podcast. I was trying to inject some energy. <laughs> we are just not having it. Welcome to the Plain Donuts the podcast. podcast. <laughs> I am your co-host, Steve. And I am your other co-host, Alicia. And this is for your listening pleasure. Oh, yeah. Mm. I like that. I like the way you said that. Um, So, this week we didn't ask for any questions. We didn't post about the podcast at all, even though we released one last week. And we're not doing very well at podcast promotion. Podcasting is hard, you guys. But we're still doing it. It's hard in the summer. Yeah, it we is. even almost like pushed it off tonight because like my wife was like, "I got stuff to do," and I was like, "I could try to reschedule, but it's a crazy week." Yeah. And she's like, "Well, I just need like an hour," and I was like, "Okay, yeah. we can figure that out." So we're podcasting a little later than usual, but mm, than per usual, but it, not later in the week, just later in the evening. Plain donuts I nights. Want- Plain Donuts Nights. Yeah. Plain Donuts 2. Electric uh, One Boogaloo. day we're just going to like give up on like anybody caring about, who, who might care about our our cleanness oh. and just have a podcast where we're just like, screw this! Screw it! <laughs> and then we're just going to, are we going to beep it out? Or are we gonna no, it? just go for it. Because I was going to say that would take a lot of work for you. Just go I for it. Like. Just drop all the F-bombs. All I don't care. F-bombs. All the Mormons I know use cuss words more than I do anyway. Yeah. <laughs> F- by f bombs, do you mean fruit bombs? Yeah, I mean fruit bombs, ah, and that's great. probably not true. I probably know some Mormons who don't use f bombs uh, more than me. I don't know. Or we can do it like Fantastic Mr. Fox style. Are you cussing at me? Yeah. Are you cussing with me? Listen, you mother cuss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cuss I like it. I like it. Let's let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do new cuss words. So anyway, how have the last two weeks been for you? Uh, not too bad. A little crazy. A little busy today at work. So we got a new product that we're, our team specifically is using and working on. And mm-hmm. so I'm really glad that the other person is helping me on our team that we hired. But I say we, but my manager hired Mm -hmm. uh but if i was doing that by myself i think i would just cry i don't think i could handle all that stress and work it's too i'm really glad they hired someone else to help you because my goodness you were like you could never like you came to the podcast like i could barely fit this in i have to go home and work after we're done (laughs) it's like no alicia i need you at 100 percent yeah do you remember that song real quick from the 90s? What, what song? And around to the middle and around again. I'm going to be there to the end. 100% pure love. I don't... I think... <laughs> I don't know. No, no, I feel like that I... That doesn't remind you I, of any, I don't any know. songs, Maybe it's huh? like a commercial or something. I did a little dance for Otto. Yeah, even. <laughs> it was nice. Anyway. Finish Dimensions. Finish Dimensions. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast, officially. It's Finish oh, Dimensions. Oh, it's so easy. 
too easy. Well, all the fatalities, like, it's funny. Well, not all of them, but some of the fatalities in Mortal Kombat, like, end up in other dimensions, it seems like. Like, you're, you're in the one stage, and then the you're fatality like, happens, and then you're suddenly oh, somewhere Oh, yeah, else. you're suddenly at, like, Lee Kang's, like, bar mitzvah or something. Yeah, Lee Kang's bar mitzvah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was one of the, <laughs> That's one of the you guys, fatality you, stages. Mortal Kombat creators listening. Yeah. We got some we ideas got some really for you. great ideas. Lee um, Kang's bar mitzvah. <laughs> Is it Lee Kang? Is that his name? Luke Kang. Luke Kang. Yeah. Sorry, gosh. Uh, all the it's okay. Luke Kang Kong has a cousin named Lee, Lee Kang. who's actually Jewish, so <laughs> that's so why we... That's why we changed the name, of we course. We ended up at Lee Kang's bar mitzvah. <laughs> really great at writing stories you guys and then and then he like throws the the uh i don't know the cup at you or whatever yeah and it like carves out your eyeball and that's how you die that's great oh man Um, i love like jewish ceremonial deaths (laughs) (laughs) then they get like some torah they bring it out and then bring out some torah and the five books of all of them the first five of the old testament (laughs) all all five and then kill you with them. They kill you. It touches your skin. You burn to death. Cause I don't. I don't know. This kind of trailed off a little bit. I, Sorry, I wish there was a character that in Mortal Kombat that would like read you Bible verses as part of their fatality. Yeah. I don't know which ones. I'm trying to think of some good ones. Revenge is the Lord's or whatever. And then like God shows and up and actually hits like hits you. <laughs> That's funny. So I'm tapping out to Jay, man. <laughs> Jesus comes in. He like in. actually like <laughs> rides oh. in on a white horse with a sword, yeah. like a sick tattoo. Like, this is very accurate biblically, yeah. actually. But he looks like a hipster man. That'd be kind of hilarious. Yeah. I think. Jesus has like these round glasses. Oh. The, the he's like, have you read my my screenplay? <laughs> You guys, I found the best <laughs> coffee shop. They don't bring me espresso at all. It's really uh, great. It reminds me of my trip to Morocco. You say that, but like burnt espresso is actually it's gross. It's actually gross, yeah. yeah. Because we're super hip and we know what No, that but it's just gross. It, it is really gross. Yeah, you can definitely tell when it's like not, yeah. not good. The coffee machine at work, I don't know if it is still doing it, but it was. it burns the coffee sometimes. Ooh. And it's like, Ugh. why you do this? Keck. It's just the way... It's a, this, it's this ridiculously expensive coffee maker. And is so, it like one of the fancy Keurigs that like takes the cup away and like no, you don't have to throw it away? No. It's something totally different? It's it's way different than Ooh. that. It, it's like got a little touch screen and you put in like like if you just want espresso shots or if you want uh, like a latte. Ooh, or, fancy. Uh, or like a chai or something like that? No, it doesn't just make chai. Uh. Like it only makes coffee drinks, but it makes lattes and uh cappuccinos and it'll do shots and it makes regular coffee and it actually like does the the espresso press and everything so like does it first so it's like the layers and everything well yeah i think so i don't know but it's like super fancy but we keep having to have people come back and like work on it because it 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 has like it's not malfunctioning in terms of making coffee usually but like just the way it's configured is like bad. Weird. So it's it's funny because it's like a really 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 nice machine that just always needs work. It's like it's like a driving a fancy car that needs work all the time. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you know. I was trying to think of one. Like people have told me that Audis need work a lot. I don't know. I've heard that too. I don't drive an Audi. Though. I don't really care though, because like I would I would still drive one. Yeah. I'd be like. Okay. What's your dream car, Steve? Mine's a Tesla. Tesla S? Tesla yeah. Model, S? Model S? That's mine too, probably. Oh, yeah. What kind of wrap would you get around well, it? Because we know it would make it custom. Well, unless they... <clears throat> when they come out with the the Tesla SUV, I might be more into that. I know that's, that's like, in... They've, they've made pictures of it before, <laughs> so... The new Tesla they're coming out with The Model is, 3? Like, more... Like, I mean, it's still... Out of my price range, like yeah. I, I would not feel comfortable being like, "Here's thirty five thousand dollars, my money for a Tesla." Yeah. Like, I, there's no way. Like, I kind of would I, yeah. if I had that much yeah, money. Yeah, if I was like making more, I'd be like, "Heck yeah!" Like, give me one of those Tesla cars. So. Yeah. Yeah, That's if cool. I like, oh, do you want to know what I did today? So I got these new cool Nike shoes. That and I got some Nikes too. So Steve and I are matching. It was, it was wacky, like. <laughs> 
here's here's the story of what happened in Nordstrom Rack. It's really good. Um, not really. So we were walking through Nordstrom Rack, just kind of like killing time. And I saw these shoes, and I was like, "Those are super cool." And then and then I was like, ah, "It's just fifty dollars or whatever. I can't right now." And so, I, like, we walked away, and then I was like, oh, man, those shoes were cool. Mm-hmm. And Melissa was like, well, I have some shirts I could take back to Target if you want, and then you could get those shoes. And I was like, okay, I can do that yeah. math. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> so I did, and I got these shoes, and they're really comfortable and they nice. They're cool. Um, they're super, they're called uh, some kind of light or something. But I happen to wear socks that look almost exactly yeah. like my shoes That today. is true. It's kind so of it's funny. Kind of they're like both a very like a heather kind of gray color. Yeah. And I also got some new Nikes too at Nordstrom Rack, almost the same day Steve did. The but... Portmore Ultralight is what Ooh. this is called. I don't know what mine are called. These are. Is you have this Fallout really... socks? No fair. This is just one Fallout sock. I don't know where the other one is. Well, that's cool. <laughs> These are made in Vietnam. Fabric of Vietnam. The tag should tell you that. The style. Uh, Flex TR7. Oh, okay. Training, even though I don't train for anything besides maybe a like pizza eating contest or something. How many miles did you run last week? Zero. Why not? Why? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I was. I let's, feel like let's pump each other up about other exercising. Up. Okay. I haven't been running or to the gym in a while, and I actually need to switch. Memberships because the gym I'm going to is kind of expensive. It's oh, like forty yeah. bucks a month. Which which gym is it? It's like the Cubex one. Oh so, yeah, in Ogden which, I've yeah, seen it. Yeah, which I like a lot because they give you like the little personal spaces to like do the individualized workouts that already are like pre-programmed in. But uh-huh. at the same time, it's kind of like oh. Let's see. I ran twice last week. Once on Sunday and once on Saturday. Yeah. So Sunday and you, then Saturday. You're doing again. pretty long runs now, aren't you? Well, my run last Sunday was 5.24 miles. Yeah, that's pretty long. <coughs> and I mean, then my... Saturday was four and mm-hmm. a half. Um, Saturday was kind of rough because, like, there was a long ways to get home. And I was like, I'm ready to be home. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Did it make you run faster to get home or did you just, like, my, run at a steady pace? I think my average pace was, like, a 12-minute mile about. That's pretty good. So roughly five miles per hour the whole way. Which isn't like super fast, but it's enough. Yeah, it does the good. trick. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so last week I ran like ten miles. Yes. Yeah, check you out. We did it. That's like Boom. two miles a day. Yeah, practically. there you go. I was doing pretty good at the gym for a while when I was running like three miles every time, like three or four times a week. But why'd you give tough. up on it? It's I, after I went on vacation. It's kind of hard to get like back into. This thing Go says I burned 4,008 calories 4, running calories? in July. 4,000 calories? Is that in July. You think that's accurate? Well, just the, all of July. Oh, okay. I was like, the Not, past two runs? No, no, That's crazy. No. no, all of July. All of July. Let's see. My last run was like, I guess, 867 calories. Oh, no. Yeah, 867 okay. calories. That's, that seems about right to me. Yeah. It sucks, though, because yeah. it doesn't, doesn't matter anyway. I'm not losing weight. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I was told that I get to eat a lot by some by uh, by, a by proxy. My mm-hmm. my sister's professional friend said you should just eat like just forget about your calorie goals for two weeks and then go back to it and you'll you'll shock mm-hmm. your system into like burning calories again. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. What if I get real fat in these <laughs> next two weeks? But it's okay. I'll survive. Boom. Anyway, good story. Good that was story. nice. Was... Steve, I realized when we were talking about your work that I've never been to your like. You should come office out before. I'll and... have to. I would have to let you in. It's like all secure for. Because oh, yeah. there's like banks in that building and stuff, like oh. bank software, bank people, bank software makers Maker, or whatever. Finance makers of the makers finance of the world. Finance world. Yeah, it's uh. kind of weird because ours is the same. Like you need a badge to like get into mm-hmm. like the where the elevator is, and then a like the same badge to get to our floor but it's weird because like the floor below us deals with like health care yeah like, that's records, us too yeah we deal with HIPAA but they don't like have that. like any security or anything really you, just, you can just go in there that's terrible <laughs> but like oh salt like tribune better keep those guys safe because they're reporters yeah yeah <laughs> see, yeah, see? <laughs> they're reporters <laughs> anyway. i'm really good at accent i don't know if i i don't know if utah is like I've never heard much like 
derision against reporters in Utah specifically, but there like seems the fake to, news or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah I haven't really there seems heard that. to be sort of a growing amount of that in the country, but not necessarily in Utah. Yeah, so good job, Utah. For, we're doing it. We're we're keeping a grip on our news and what's true and what's not. We've true. got a grip. We've got a grip. Oh. <sighs> anyway, yeah. so what has happened? The, anything else besides the new project at work? Um. Last, I haven't had to fill up my car with gas for over two weeks. Wow. And I'm pretty impressed with my gas. That knowledge. is pretty good. <laughs> That's not very exciting, but for me, that is exciting. It is nice. Like, I love when I only have to drive to the train station yeah, and back really nice. for a long time. Because then it's like, oh, this tank of gas is lasting it lasts so, me so long. long. Yeah. Uh, nice. Conversely, my, my lawnmower is leaking gas somewhere. Uh-huh. So, like... Like, if I, when I'm done using it and I put it away, by the time I use it again, it's empty because it, like, oh, it like just leaks all slowly over? Oh, leaks man, gas. That's annoying. But I don't know where it's coming from. And it doesn't, like, leave a puddle. It's just... Oh, because, like, it evaporates out? Yeah. So it's, like, it just stinks yeah. in my garage like gasoline. Ooh, do you go in there and you take some deep breaths? Yeah, because I love that feeling that of being feeling. high from gasoline. <laughs> some inhalants. Best. Yeah, some inhalants. I did some... I did some helium the other day oh, for yeah, the first sweet. time in a long time. Did some sweet H. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. And then my voice sounded weird for a minute, and that was it. And I yeah. got kind of lightheaded, yeah. and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Whenever I inhale helium, it like makes my throat feel super weird. And that really deters me more than anything else. Yeah, because like, you don't want to suffocate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My when my head gets lightheaded, I'm like, like, yeah, oh, I'm God. not getting enough oxygen because I'm breathing a lot of helium right now. So that's funny. Humans but, are weird. I love that we're like, hey, this thing that makes this balloon like fly around, we should just poke a hole in it and breathe it. Let's see if this makes us high. Yeah, it's you know what's weird is that there are people out there in the world right now today who are like, let's see if this makes us high, and they're just like doing really dumb oh, stuff. That's dumb. I guess I mean that's how people discovered you can inhale like those air can things. Oh yeah, to get high. But that, apparently that's super dangerous because you'll never know if it's gonna like instantly kill you or not. Oh geez. So it's just like, uh. so. And that's one of those things. It's like it's really crazy. You just go to an office store. Yeah. Or Walmart and be like, I'm gonna get my fix. I'm gonna get my fix. So I'm gonna get my, my air can on. Or what else do people inhale? Like paint? Food. Oh, uh, yeah, paint. paint <laughs> I think, like, Food. I know about that. The, well, they do. Like, the, they inhale it in a different way. Yeah. And it's unhealthy. Yeah, but it's so good. In fact, it is good. No, there's a guy right now who's like, he's like, I, I really. I used food. I didn't want to commit suicide, but I wanted to die. So doctors kept telling me that if I was eating like, if I just kept growing and eating like I was, then I would eventually die. And so I was like, awesome. That sounds good. So he just was like slowly trying to commit suicide with food. And then he got his brain together a little better. And yeah. So it's it's definitely like a lot of times he's, he actually said, this is Boogie2988 on the internet, on YouTube. If you want to look him up, he recently got gastric bypass surgery but um he basically said like if somebody's like 20 30 pounds overweight or whatever <clears throat> they probably just struggle with the whole like calories in calories yeah. out kind of thing and and that's their struggle if they're like a hundred pounds overweight they're they're pro they probably struggle with that more but it's still probably not a mental issue but once you get in like over 200 pounds overweight roughly he was just making a general yeah he's not saying this is specifically science but he's saying generally past a certain point overweight it's they're like um there's something wrong in their mind like they might they might have some kind of mental illness and they need to get that together so that they can like feel better about themselves and and like actually want to be healthy and live a long life or whatever. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> that may not be the same for every person. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm not a big judge of it. I know that I lost some weight and started feeling a lot better, like just physically generally better. And so I want to keep doing that so that I hopefully will feel physically generally even more better. <laughs> more better. 
But I don't know. But it sucks because, oh, also, the feeling of going into a store and just buying some clothes that fit, that is so dope. I want to keep doing that. Yeah. Oh, it's such a good feeling. We bought four pairs. I should say, I say we. I bought one pair of shoes on Sunday. Otto got three pairs of shoes. Spent like $250. Why are you balling out on shoes? Uh, Just just because. Sometimes you just gotta yeah. get new shoes. Yeah, like, I mean, he's what you got. You put some new shoes 14. on. Anyway. <laughs> Suddenly everything's right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what? Oh, uh, what? You haven't bought new shoes in like several years, like three or four years, four years. Goodness gracious! So, and you sold shoes for a long yeah, time. Sure did. Otto's Otto's famous. He's kinda. so famous. He's famous on Instagram. Oh, he is kind of Instagram him. famous. Not um, as 91? famous as Cola. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not as Instagram famous as she's Cola. She's super but famous. He, he's getting there. She's not even that. She's like, my followers don't mean anything. And it's uh-huh. like, oh, it's true. You <laughs> did post about us on your Instagram and nobody listened to that episode. Yeah. Not that we don't want you back. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know if she's still listening. She's like behind or something. Oh, as okay. is everyone. Nobody cares about our podcast anymore. Oh, Steve, no. <laughs> Just don't go for that air can. No, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> mur, 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 mur. <laughs> oh, plot twist. It was an air horn. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Our jokes are dumb. Uh, I think uh, our jokes are funny. I wish we had a topic. Oh, do you? Um, kind of. talk about work a little bit and, like, being healthy. We have talked about have work talked and about being healthy and finish edges. And finished. I wish they were finished edges. Like, look at my edges. Look at my like, edges. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Those Hans and Franz commercials. Uh-huh. I'm Hans and I'm Franz. All the auto hates them. Oh, those Vokes. I think they're hilarious because they're so bad. They're not meant to be good. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't think they're meant to be good. Do you think they're meant to be? Yeah. I don't think they're jokes. Uh, I think I think they think some of the jokes are funny, but like they're never funny. I think it's funny because they don't land. Like none of the jokes actually make sense, and Mm. that's what I heard this. I heard this amazing review of. the emoji movie on my brother, my brother and me. That got like eight percent on Rotten it's Tomatoes. It's so bad. Apparently, it's really apparently awful. it's very bad. But he's like the actors in this movie should be commended because they are working so hard to try to wring any comedy out of these lines, <laughs> and there's just none. Oh <laughs> no! And there was like a lot of famous actors that. Signed up for that movie, right? If I can remember. I don't know. I know I the main the up. main guy is like from uh, what's that one show on 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 uh, HBO Tech uh, something, tech. Uh, Silicon Valley. Oh yeah 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 okay yeah 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Emoji movie. Somebody made a remix of uh, Bad and Bougie. That's what? just Lil Uzi saying yeah. What? <laughs> I gotta look it up. Oh man. We could play it on here because it's not copyrighted for sure. Gene. Bad bougie. Uh, Whoa, oh, dogs! Dog. Whoa! Oh my gosh. My dogs are so that? screechy. Oh yeah, Anna Ferris is in it. My Rudolph. Oh, so apparently, so Anna Ferris and Chris Pratt broke up and everyone's freaking out. Oh yeah, it's so sad. It's so sad. Oh, there goes Steve. Oh, Steve left. It's just Sorry, me. Just, wanna, just me in the podcast now. I just want to hide the world from the fact that my dogs are screaming because my wife is coming home. <laughs> oh, they're so screechy. I don't know. So I heard that like maybe some sometimes you should like edit that stuff out and just come back. Oh. Um, but I don't know if like I I kind of feel the flow of our podcast, and so and sometimes like I think it sort of is like oh. These are real people whose dogs sometimes yeah. scream. That's funny. We're not going to, like, cut it super short. Like, we can edit yeah. out all the awkward pauses and breaks and uh, things no. like that. Well, if we edited out all the awkward pauses and breaks, Alicia uh, would never talk. There, no, never. Just kidding. You ready for uh, Bad and... Me, bad and yeah, Migos yeah. Ba- Bad and Bougie, but it's only Lil Uzi Vert saying yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> the whole song. Are you uh, ready? Yes. Y'all rich niggas. Oh, oh, Steve, what have you done? 
Okay. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, turn up, turn up. <laughs> it's literally, it's literally five and a half minutes of this. I didn't know that song was that long. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, Woo. man. That's funny. <sighs> Bad and bougie, what a hit. Oh, solid. 10 out of 10. We, have a, we have a friend who uh, listened to a whole bunch of rap music and then decided that the world was coming to an end or something. Do you remember? Well, this is a mutual friend. Is this a mutual friend? Yeah. I don't remember this mutual friend. Uh, they're a little older than us. Not a lot, but anyway. No? Interesting. I... It was really funny. They yoga just... friend? What? No. Not oh. yoga. No. Yoga? No! We also oh. have a mutual friend who, like, severely hates yoga. Yeah, that's, that's and like hilarious. And I was like, he was like... He was like, he went on this big rant about it. And then I was like, yoga, fire. <laughs> and he was like, not amused. But I thought it was hilarious. Did I say that? I, I think you did. Oh man, that's great. Uh, or maybe he just said it to me. And I was like, really trying not to laugh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, oh man. Now I'm trying to think about who the mutual friend is. He uh, was like, oh, rap music is the war. No, it was so bad. Cause like, I was like, I was like, there was this big rant on Facebook about oh, it. And really? I was like, first of all. You have to understand that, like, this music is not for you. Like, yeah. it, you are the wrong <laughs> audience for this music. So, of course, you're not going to pr- appreciate it on a musical level, yeah. like, in any way. Um, and also, like, I just came off as very, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say anything, but it came off, came, to me, it came off as really judgmental of, like, a whole group of people. And I was like... We can't lump people together. That's I was silly. like, not everybody likes that music for the same reason. And that, like, I don't know. It's just hard because he was, like, mad that they were bragging about having gold chains or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but you didn't. I don't think you grew up in the kind of poverty that yeah. a lot of these people came up in. So, so like. Kind of different perspective. Yeah. That you'd have to, like, come up in order to appreciate that. I don't know. I yeah. just. I tend to, I tend to get, I don't know, maybe more and more weak or just more and more careful <laughs> as I get older for some reason about like, I don't know, trying to act like I know anything. Yeah. Because the more and more I'm like, I don't know anything at all. Yeah. Nothing. Everything is weird. <laughs> I don't know. Especially nowadays, everything is super weird. Yeah. So. <sighs> Hello, it's your co-host Steve again. Welcome to the middle of the episode. You made it. Hey, earlier, just to get right into it, I explained that I would explain why this episode is so late in the middle of the show, and that is because my wife and I are having a baby and we made a baby announcement and it took a long time. So I'm sorry, but I'm not that sorry because we're having a baby and it's exciting. Um... (laughs) Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, uh, if you like this show, if you're enjoying it so far, or if you've enjoyed previous episodes, you can always find more episodes and more show content at yourplaindonuts.com. That is Y-O-U-R, plaindonuts.com. Um, you can go there for links to any episode. Just click on the titles and you'll get to the show. Um or you can find any of our social media links there. We've got YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Instagram, just click those ones to get there too. That was a good way to put that for sure. Um, so yeah, if you do love the show, I would appreciate it if you would go on to iTunes and rate us and review us. That helps us out, lets iTunes know we're good. And then maybe someday they'll put us in a featured section and we would all rejoice, including my wife's baby in the tummy. That's a weird thing to say. Anyway, um, also, I mentioned the social media links just a moment ago. If you'll go click on those and share the show on any social media, that would be super helpful. And even more helpful is your 
personal opinion being shared with your friends about the show. So if you find somebody who you think might like it, just go to them and say, hey, this is a good one I found. You should help me enjoy it. We should enjoy this show together. Yeah, that's what I think. So anyway, um, thank you for your time. This has been a really short middle of the episode. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. It's really, it's, oh, it's so bad. Someone, in fact, very close to me is now a a full-on Flat Earth believer. No. But. Wait, about relative? Yeah. But. um, Nobody you know, Um, and I'm not going to mention I know, but that's still, like, kind of bizarre to It is. But they, I mean, they've also said some stuff recently that makes me feel like maybe they're just going, like, all the way down the conspiracy Mm -hmm. hole, and I'm just like, Okay, well, if you're, I, I guess if you're just gonna believe all of them, yeah. then why I can't, pick and choose I when can, you can have all? I can't do anything about that. Yeah, you know, like because that's like a whole nother thing. If that's yeah. kind of what you're going for. Well, yeah. and like it has been mentioned that they might be having some trouble uh, rather than just like full on believing this thing because they've been very convinced. Uh. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's I feel weird talking about it because I don't know, like, I, I want to be sensitive, you know, but also I'm like, but it's, the I mean, the earth has been proven a million ways from Sunday yeah. that it is a globe earth. It's, it's, it, it's, it's a globe. It's globe, yeah. It's round. It's round. It's very you round. It's round, yeah. There, there are places in the North Pole yeah. where sometimes it does not become night yeah. for certain seasons. <laughs> because and it's round. I think There's it's interesting to me. No good explanation. <laughs> uh, what is Otto said something really oh, funny. Oh no! Um, like you can, when you fly in a plane far enough north or south, you can actually see the curvature of the Earth. Oh yeah, it's true. So it's kind of like it's not really any excuse to like be weird about flat Earth, but I can't. well, it's just it's just weird because it's like like. Every, past any, like, well, I took my ruler out to the ocean and yeah. I put it up next to the, this the, the ocean and it was flat according to my ruler. Like, it's <laughs> like, uh, have you ever heard of a thing called scale? Um, but, like, oh, man. Uh, past uh, any of that, like, and all of those, like, supposedly scientific methods of proving the flat earth are actually really bad and dumb. Um, but... Past that, as soon as you're like, okay, but NASA's like taking pictures of the Earth from from orbiting yeah. space stations and stuff. Don't you know that's just really good CGI? Steve? Well, yeah, that that's the thing is like at a certain point, it's just all Everything, conspiracy yeah. theory, and so it's like, well, like what the problem is is all of these conspiracy theories are like butting up against each other. Yeah, like why would enemy nations perpetuate Pretend. this lie, right? Yeah. Like what I. I I don't know. Those those are the questions that are kind of like this. The deal sealer for me yeah. is like I I no I haven't like talked about this on the podcast, but like okay, so the sixties, the space yeah. race, right? Russia's like we're gonna make it to the moon, and, and the U.S. is like heck no, heck no, we're yeah, going first. Exactly. Yeah. It's like we're gonna make it to the moon before you. You guys are a bunch of loser Sputniks <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Sputniks. Yeah, and so like, and so. We made a race to the moon, but theoretically, like, high people in both of those countries know yeah. that the Earth is flat. So if one of them was just like, lol, losers, the Earth is flat, you'll never make it anywhere. Yeah. Like, then, and then just showed proof that the Earth that was, was flat, flat. Like you then they win, up, And then right? you would have seen a flat-like map surface instead of a globe to or take photos one of. Or of- one of my friends was part of the flat Earth Facebook group and he Ooh, like I that was interesting. Yeah, and not he just did it because he's like what the, what do these people yeah. believe? But uh he he at one point I think he literally suggested like why don't you guys just pool all your money mm. buy like a weather balloon and send it up with a camera and yeah. see what you see, you know? Like <laughs> oh, oh man. man. 
But, I mean, the statement was made to me specifically, like, nothing, nothing will change my mind. And I was like, okay. well, then your mind is made up by obviously an emotion and not, like, your reason because... Yeah. If nothing can change your mind, then, like, yeah. that's not... Then all you're doing is just shoring up your own personal idea about something that's actually provable. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. It's really... That's bizarre. Uh, it's funny, because, I mean, what? Who's that guy that jumped out of the really tall... What, like... Oh, yeah, the, oh, Red, the Red Bull guy. Yeah, because when... Because he went up you so high... You could see the curvature of the You could see the, the curvature yeah. there. Well... Mm, that sick curve, though. Yeah, well, and, like, it's like, what does Red Bull have to gain from yeah, continuing exactly. the Yeah, exactly. Like, what is... Who has anything to gain from this? It's it's weird. Ju- it just becomes more and more foolish the more examples you bring yeah. in. SpaceX is a good example to me because I'm like they're they're mm. like it's a billionaire dude who literally is just throwing money to make his own rockets for yeah. Like why would he lie about? Why would he? Why would he just not... waste his money continuously? Yeah. Right? Um, <laughs> that would be so stupid. Yeah. Unless he's, like, some kind of government operative yeah. or whatever. And I'm like, but what reason do they have? Yeah, and then why wouldn't they work all together their, with the government? All of their launches and stuff are, like, live-streamed. Yeah. And you from different angles, you can see the curvature of the Earth. And I'm like, the, the technology involved in this? <laughs> like, what? Okay, the other thing is, oh, man. <laughs> This is the this is the big clincher for me. I've been thinking about this a lot um, for a long time. NASA, right? They say, well, NASA is just this big like shadow organization that um, that is everything is just Photoshop and lies, right? So, but r- NASA employs like eighty thousand people, and yeah. more than that in terms of like contractors and stuff like that. So all of those people have to either be lied to or be in on the lie, right? Yeah. All of them. And there have been no no whistleblowers whatsoever. None ever. Yeah. Right? Um, nobody's like, I've found, I got the receipts yeah. there at this flat, right? N- nobody's Nobody. doing that yeah. from NASA. Not a single person. Beyond that, so the example that I've thought of in, in the movie The Martian, right? There's this person who like basically their whole job is is to look at pictures from Mars and like as as the surface of Mars changes like modern and day-to-day changes. Yeah, day-to-day yeah. changes, how the weather moves, what's going on with the stuff that mm-hmm. we've sent up there, that kind of thing. They're just monitoring it from orbiting space stations yeah. around Mars. So not only do they have to continuously come up with new images for that person yeah. to believe, <laughs> But that has to be happening constantly. And so it has either, to be someone's job yeah. to be... So, yeah. So earth, I, rent, like, fake Earth renderer. Spe- like, what? Right. what is that job title? Or it has to be some kind of insane software to yeah. do it. And uh, some contractor had to build it, right? Like, somebody had yeah. to build the software to fake the pictures of Mars. Yeah. And literally all of the places that we're watching right now. Yeah. And all of the crap about, like, sending up the Mars rover and that. Somebody's yeah. job was to fake all that stuff. And it just becomes more and more insane to think, like... The, the number of people involved in these operations, yeah. there would be somebody who's like, guys, this is all fake. Are yeah. you kidding me? What are and, you, like, you know, when like, you think about it, what are they supposed to gain? Like, what would be the end well, goal? Well, so in, here's, the, here's the bottom line for me is that, like, some – what I think what was told to me is, like, the reason that they want they, whoever they Who is, is they? they want you to continue believing this is so that you think you're not special and that we're not special. And I'm like, That's, what? That, that doesn't, doesn't make, make any sense. sense, actually, because all you're talking about is actual, like, spatial topography, yeah. right? Like, the because the Earth is somehow more special than anything else that makes us special but no not necessarily because even if there aren't seven billion people on the planet which there are let's say there's a hundred thousand people on the Mm -hmm. planet maybe it maxes out at 100k (laughs) right even if that were the case 
put you among 100,000 people and just only look at those people, you're going to be pretty much exactly the same as somebody else, right? Topographically. Yeah. Nothing about you is special in that way. The thing that makes you special is your uniqueness. And the same goes for the Earth, right? Yeah. The thing that makes the Earth special is that we actually have like life on Earth that is somehow self-aware and wondering <laughs> what else is out there. And we have yet to see anything else in the whole universe that replicates that kind of intelligence that's pretty special to me like yeah. i mean even if there's one planet out there that we i mean we're discovering planets by the thousands right and still we're like well, it doesn't look like there's any intelligence around there that we can see yeah. you know most of the time we can't see close enough to like actually look at life or whatever but like even then even if there was another planet out there we're still super special in that yeah. way so i'm just like it's there's even if you want even if the whole thing was to make us feel not special, like, like what they're that, still not doing that job, yeah, you know, <laughs> like that, and that, like, and to be made to feel not special. What does that mean in the end game well, for so them? Is it for too- the for a certain flat Earth perspective? It's because God made the Earth special. Um, because the people on the earth are special. We're God's very special creation. We are very important in this equation. And I'm like, have you read the Bible? Like, the, <laughs> so, we're bad. We're the bad ones. God is good. He's the, he's the hero of the whole thing. So, like, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, anyway, sorry. So, the, so our flat Earth is approximately six thousand years old also well yeah okay i would assume oh all right know. all right just depending see the thing is is like past the fact that the earth is flat yeah in some way somehow the earth is flat flat earthers don't actually agree on very much huh. and so it, it's like well you can disprove so-and-so's arguments but such and such just believes that gaia is underneath the earth holding it up with her big giant arms or something you know <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I don't know if anybody believes that, but... (laughs) (laughs) I want to know, like... Because I've seen some drawings, too, of people, like... Like, renderings of what the flat Earth would supposedly look like. Like, a large wall of ice around the perimeter of our flat, disc-like Earth Mm -hmm. that's constantly moving upwards, and that's Yeah, that's what gravity... Yeah. Yeah. I've heard some argument that, like... some, Some guy was actually trying to say that like the reason that gravity works or something is because of buoyancy and i was like you're inverting those equations like the reason buoyancy is as it is is because gravity Gravity. is as it is right like so weird oh man every time we talk about this it just gets like weirder and weirder it's impossible like it's i feel like it's actually impossible to believe unless you can convince yourself of some very weird things yeah Like, and I guess that's, like, it's funny because I walk this line, right? Like, you could say that same thing about Christianity. Like, it's impossible to believe unless you believe that some guy could be raised from the dead. And I'm like, okay, but, like, I don't disbelieve that that could happen given a a, a prime mover, a creator who knows everything, who can do anything, right? Given those circumstances, yeah, some guy could raise from yeah. the dead on under the power of God, right? Sure. Why not? What? Why is that so crazy compared to the idea that like some celestial strings rubbed together and made the universe yeah. and gravity the way it was? Like, what's so different? Like, that seems a little even more ridiculous. And where did the strings come yeah. from? You know, like it's just one of those things where it's like. It, at a certain point, when you boil it all down to the bottom, both ideas are kind of difficult to believe. One just is more savory to a person who doesn't <laughs> want to believe that a god could exist, yeah. right? So, I'm, anyway. Sorry, I'm very ranting. <laughs> my ho- my house is a little hot. House hot. Feeling hot. Where are some other, like, interesting... I mean, I've heard things about, like, chemtrails... Oh about, yeah, she like, mentioned something about. Oh, I said I said a she. Sorry. Uh, anyway. Ooh, they mentioned uh, they mentioned something about chemtrails and how like, like the uh, the stuff they were pumping into the sky is making it so they can't breathe. Yeah. And I was like, 
you had asthma <laughs> before you before you started believing this stuff. <laughs> but that's why she didn't know. They didn't know. And I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> do you understand the volume of the sky? <laughs> like, <laughs> the, to be honest, I you know chemtrails. I'm not too keen on. But considering the pollution and the forest fires well, we've sure. had, that's reasonable. But those things... But those are much more larger Yeah, they can scale. produce a competing <laughs> amount of volume yeah, to actually affect like the air. A small trail of whatever, 35,000 feet up in the air at intermittent times yeah. throughout the day that would disperse into microparticles before it even, like, reached us. Not enough to make us... I don't, I don't know, man. Oh, man. I, at at, least, like they, at least I haven't heard anything about uh, vaccines recently. Yeah. Because otherwise I'd just be like, ugh. Yeah. Somebody, somebody was like, when you guys have kids, are you going to vaccinate them? And we were like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> we don't want them to die from smallpox. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That touching, like, can you? G- let's go back 20, 20 years. That was not a question. I don't think people were normally asking no. others. No, it's just like people. So autism started being diagnosed more regularly, yeah. and like I had this conversation with somebody recently, actually, like. They're like, when I was younger, nobody talked about autism. It just wasn't a thing. And I was like, they just didn't diagnose it. Yeah. Like, it was around. Well, I mean, like, back in, let's say, the 1800s, no one talked about people with Down syndrome or mental health issues or really yeah. anything else. So right. it's not like these concepts are, like, it's not like, whoa, look at this depression. It's skyrocketing. Yeah. It's more like, oh, now we have the tools and the medicine to look at this and say, oh, yes. This is what is happening. Yeah. It's not anything new. It's just we're noticing it because we're more connected and yeah. more intelligent. Than we ever. now have the tools to say, oh, that's that person's not just always sad. Yeah. They have clinical depression. Yeah. There's actually medicine that could potentially help them, yeah. right? Whereas before, it's like, Mom, well, they're just a sad person, I guess. Yeah. Hope they make it to their 30s, yeah. you know? Like or, wow, Grandpa sure is jumpy. That, you know, that yeah. shell shock syndrome sure made him angry and cranky. Yeah. But it's not that. It's post-traumatic stress disorder mm-hmm. that we can diagnose and treat. Yeah. So, so it, anyway, it's just one of those things where it's like people started diagnosing autism. And I think immediately people were like, "How? Oh, this new thing is here, autism. And like other people who were probably autistic were like, that sounds like me. Yeah, actually, like, actually you know? I probably. <laughs> when I was a kid, if they'd known, they probably yeah. would have said, I have autism. They're like, oh, it's all these vaccines. Some yeah. doctor made some link, right, that was disproven. And then he had to say he was sorry. And he got his license revoked mm-hmm. and, like, all this crazy oh, stuff. But vaccine people still point to that same guy. And they're like, he was later vindicated. And I'm they're like, like no. then why isn't his doctorship reinstated? Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh. like... And why, if like, he was vindicated, then why aren't all the other doctors going, oh no, this, this combination of vaccines is actually producing autism in yeah. people? Why aren't all the doctors saying that? They're not, because they're yeah. doctors and they care about your health and they want you to do the right yeah. thing. And spoiler alert, <sighs> Big Pharma, quote unquote, does not actually make a ton of money off of vaccinations because it's preventable. They make much more money. From people who have to come to the hospital from preventable diseases like measles or mm. like chicken pox or whatever. So, yep. Well, they would make a lot more money if you had a disease that wasn't curable. Yeah. Um, that you're just living with either until you die or just for the rest of your life. Yeah, of course they're going to make more money off that. Uh, obviously. Yeah. Oh, man. It's that whole do no harm thing. Apparently all the doctors... All of the Literally doctors. all the doctors yeah. are like, uh, forget about do no harm. I know I took that oath, but, but I, I need some of that money. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But it's like, no, who, who is finan- who is financing all these shill doctors? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, that doesn't make any sense to it me. It just this goes back to the thing where it's like everything has to be a conspiracy for yeah. this to be true. 
once you layer on like two or three conspiracies, you're just like, Ugh. at that point, oh. it's like, this can't, this, this can't, can't actually happen. be true. Yeah. That's and then the much. flat earth stuff is like so many yeah, conspiracies. Because so you have to have conspiracies that defend your position back to <laughs> millennia. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah. Oh, man. So it's pretty bad. <sighs> What's another one? Oh, like that doctors are hiding the cure for cancer. Oh, yeah. Or, um, oh gosh, there's so many. Uh, Bush did 9 11. <laughs> yeah. We probably shouldn't get to that Just one. Go to, I don't, uh, I don't that one's that. too, that's a little too fresh. Yeah. That was a little too, uh, the moon, oh, the moon landing was faked. Mm. That's another one that kind of wraps itself in with a flat earth sort of situation. King George did the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> America's just a huge shill. <laughs> We're just slaves to England this whole time. <laughs> this whole time was. Oh. You know what, though? I bet that there's somebody out there. Somebody. That's like, yes. We just planted the seed of suggestion in someone's oh, mind. And they're, and they're like, I I think that's, that's true, actually. That could be true. That, could that be sounds totally right true. to me. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's so weird. I can't, you know... I don't. Uh, <laughs> I. It feels like there's a lot uh, you want to say and I none just, of it you actually know. want to say. I don't know what to say about conspiracy theories. They're just really well. Weird. And to be fair, like some of them end up being right, yeah. like to a certain extent. The the Watergate stuff, yeah. right? Like that was ostensibly no, man, that's fake news just from like the 60s <laughs> ostensibly that was a conspiracy theory until it turned out to be actual conspiracy yeah. right so like some of some of that stuff can end up being true but when you're getting one unbelievable thing on top of another unbelievable thing on top of another yeah. unbelievable thing it's like okay all of that can't be true there's too many moving parts for that to continuously be true and there's, so. as we've seen, just straight up too much incompetence yeah. for this to actually Seriously. work. <laughs> oh, man. If What's-his-face Snowden couldn't keep his mouth shut? Then. If Trump became president day one and they're like, so first of all, sir, the earth is flat. Yeah. Like, we just have to Do you this- think he would not get on Twitter <laughs> he and... Tweet that out immediately. Be on and Twitter. Then, like. If they were, if Twitter were to be censoring him, why is Twitter involved? Like, yeah. who's paying Twitter to keep this a secret? Jack, who's paying you? Yeah. <laughs> At Jack, who's giving you money to censor Twitter about the flat Earth? <laughs> where the numbers mean, Mason. <laughs> that's a that's a Call of Duty joke. Oh man, it makes me think about people who like get really obsessed with like biblical numerology and oh, stuff. Oh yeah. Or like those people that think the world's always going to end like at the random times for some reason. Oh yeah. And I'm like what what indicates that this is happening? Yeah. Well, would you rather like die kind of just chilling and doing your normal stuff? It's right? pretty funny like there's specifically verses when people talk about like oh the apocalypse is coming as the Bible states on this day. There are verses specifically that say no one will know the day or the hour, right? So, I mean, even if you interpret that loosely, you might know the month yeah. or the year, yeah. you know? <laughs> but you but, won't know the But exact a lot time. of times this stuff is like, it's going to happen at 2 p.m. on January 11th yeah. and 2, you and know? And it's hilarious it's like, because it's like the same people always saying that it's going to end. And everyone kind of, ra- like, people still rally around that person who's been wrong for several, on several occasions. I, here's, I don't understand why cultists can find followers, but we can't find listeners. <laughs> Maybe we can. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think we're operating all wrong, Steve. I think we need to operate more like a cult. Um, how hmm, how do we begin? Oh, um, we have to talk about how we have all the answers. Yeah. I think we've done that we've pretty done well pretty so well. far. Uh, <laughs> we need to yell more. Oh, uh, like the info wars no, I have guy. I've been doing a lot uh, of yelling. Are we today, sweating? Though. We need to sweat a lot and show conviction. <laughs> I think it's just the info wars extremism. I'm just mad that they're putting water, drugs in the water to make the frogs gay. Like, <laughs> it's that fluoride, Steve. It's that what? fluoride that's making all the frogs gay. I just don't want gay frogs. 
like, where are my supplements? You know, like. I wish there was like a visual that I could have with that of you like wiping your forehead. That was really good. That was really funny. Uh, Alex uh, Jones is an easy one though. Oh man, yeah. And I think, who was it? Jen Oliver like recently did a thing about yeah. him and hit him selling like supplements and all this crazy stuff. Yeah, it stuff. was really good. And so, I don't know. It's just they're so, yeah. What? Do we should we sell supplements? Is that what we need to do? That's be doing? a great oh, idea. We need to sell vitamins. Oh man, they're oh. making so much bank off those supplements yeah. to support the message. Oh. We have a uh, message. What's our message? Oh shoot, what is our message? Oh, maybe that's the first thing we need to do before we start a cult is have a message and like a vision. Uh, our our theme song doesn't even have lyrics. Yeah. That's okay, though. It makes people feel comfortable and want to connect with us. I People like our theme song. Yeah. That's, that's been a thing that they've said before. <laughs> yeah. If we can do... We did one thing right. <laughs> we made a really good... Really it's good not our song. self-promotion, though. We're certainly not doing that right, no, right now. I, uh, but if you want to learn more about the truth, about what's really going on... Oh, man. Subscribe. Uh, I just wish that I could do that. I honestly sometimes wish I could just just be like, you know what? I just believe all of it now. And now I'm famous. You're right. (laughs) You're right. The earth is flat. And we want to get our message out. And if you want us, if you want to help us get our message out, you have to rate us five stars (laughs) on iTunes and make it so we're more visible. Share, like, subscribe. This is the message. This is what we believe. And then wipe your sweat. And then wipe your sweat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Fin- finish edges. Yeah. <laughs> uh, finish dimensions. <laughs> finish dimensions. Finish. Oh, this one's three by five oh, centimeters. Oh, go to Ikea, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're really good at finish really, dimensions. I don't even know what a finish... How is that different than like a Swedish accent? Probably not very different. You I was know, just doing Anna, mostly Swedish. you know what a Finnish accent sounds like? I don't either. Uh, who are there Finnish actors that are famous? Is there anyone that's famous that's Finnish? I don't know Finland. I don't Finland. know. I, I know there's lots of like Norwegians. Yeah, is it Norwegians? Norwegians. The, the place that Bjork is from. Bjork. Ooh, just is she produces, from Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. yeah, Iceland for some reason produces famous people. Yeah. I don't understand. That's it. such a small population too. I know. They're it's like weird. famous person to like regular person ratio was like off Pretty the charts. Yeah. yeah. Compared to like the United States, oh, oh, where every teen thinks they're gonna have a vlog that makes them famous, uh, and some people start podcasts and, and their famous. names are Steve Matney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, too close to home. I just uh, get our truth out there. There are some ways in which I really dislike myself and my own practices. Uh, <laughs> like some, okay. Sometimes I just wish that, like, I could finish something and it would actually be really good. I've only ever finished a podcast, like, every week <laughs> or every other week right now. Yeah. Doing pretty good, though, I think. We're doing it. I don't know. Writing? I've been writing recently. Oh, yeah. You mentioned that a little it's bit. It's really hard. Oh, it sucks. Because it's, it's one of those things where it's, like, I keep trying to tell myself that I don't need to be in a certain mood to do it. Like, that's... I think that's been a thing in my brain for a while where I'm, like, oh... I have to have the atmosphere right, and I need to be in a certain mood to get the words You're out. You're an artiste. Yeah, and, but really, it's like, you just need to finish yeah. the thing, and you have an outline. So just keep writing, you know? Like, uh, uh. Oh, man. Well, and the problem is, is I, I don't have that same feeling for, like, like um, revising and editing my own work. Like, I can go back and do that like picking pimples like it feels so good to just like to like massage sentences and stuff like that i don't know why that's such a i'm just like i would do this for fun so i'm like steve if you just get to the i would do this for fun like i'm doing the other part for anything else (laughs) anyway it hurts me i I gotta finish writing so i can go back and rip it apart later yeah yeah anyway so that's the it's funny it's you know steve if caraval can get published the literally the worst book i've ever read you can finish writing your book i wonder how people get into like get pulled into publishers and stuff like that when they have that kind of story that's just yeah not it's just good. clearly like really poorly was written. this the her uh, author's first release i think it was actually her second book oh okay. or she she wrote under a pseudonym for this book or something like that. It wasn't 
I don't think it was the first. A lot of times released. you, um, it's easier once the first one's done. Yeah. And so like maybe your next story isn't as great of an idea, but they're like, well, the first one was good, so we believe in you. Oh, and then yeah. it comes out and not being so great. It just, it confuses me that it could go past so many other people and no one would say anything about yeah, it. You know what I mean? That's the weird thing about, like, when I read book reviews, like, kind of especially on Goodreads, but yeah. just in general, I'm usually like, I don't know if these people, like, know what they're well, talking Sometimes it's like, oh, actually, that's a good point. I yeah. didn't think about it, because I just like, typically I just like everything. Yeah. Like, if it's, as long as the prose is okay, I'm generally like, that was a really good story. <laughs> and I don't think about, like, Oh, yeah, that was, like, very... the plot. This plot point was, like, really too easy or yeah. whatever, right? I just don't think about that very often. But um, I, while I'm reading, I guess I've started thinking about it more because somebody said it one time, and then I was thinking about my own stuff, and I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, what cliches do I have? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, there are so many so yeah. many pitfalls I'm trying Anyway, it's uh it's been a long podcast. Yeah, it's been man. nearly one whole hour. Whole should we hour. should we end it? We can tap out. I I Well cool. Thanks for listening to the Plain Donuts podcast. I hope you made it all the way through. If you did, uh we don't have any good jokes for you at the end. Uh, I wish we would like plan and be like plan. we saved the best joke for the very <laughs> end. The very end. So it's called the booty joke. <laughs> <laughs> just, just that's it that's it that's, our, that's it that's the joke there it's you go the booty joke the booty joke because it's the end mm. 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 chance the rapper has some pretty clever lines about booties just go read those go that read you'll those. laugh you'll laugh you'll think that's hilarious he's a rapper he's this, famous he's really good anyway cool thanks cool. this has been Plain Donuts I'm your co-host Alicia I am your co-host Steve thanks for joining us okay bye bye